at Vatican uh, Media. A committee uh, has been set up, is being set up, uh, to propose reforms for the Vatican uh, media world. Uh, it's not intended that this particular committee will implement those reforms. They will propose those reforms and they're being urged uh, to do so within uh, 12 months. And uh, undoubtedly, uh, a part of their considerations uh, will be the report that was prepared for COSEA um, on the media. What are the aims uh, of uh, this committee? Uh, one is to maintain and enhance the number, especially the number of Catholics who are reached by the Vatican media. One estimate is that about 10% of Catholics throughout the world are reach, uh, reached in some way. Um, we, uh, this committee will be working to enhance uh, coordination, to diminish uh, replication, um, and especially to recognize that uh, the world of the media has changed radically and is changing. It was 1931 when Vatican Radio uh, was set up. No longer in most parts of the world do people listen very frequently uh, to the radio. And probably, not probably, certainly, the patterns of expenditure within the Vatican uh, in no way correlate to the number of people who are reached because uh, many, many already today uh, of the people, young people who are being reached is uh, through is through the new uh, media. And we want to build on uh, very recent positive experiences with, say, the Pope app and the Holy Father's uh, uh, Twitter account. Uh, the, the final uh, ambition uh, is that uh, sensitively and progressively there will be a significant saving of funds, as with a better coordination, um, a, a, uh, a more balanced uh, uh, expenditure, uh, we, uh, the, the, certainly the hope is that in time, through natural attrition, reorganization, re replay, replacement, uh, that there will be significant uh, savings. One of the great catalysts uh, for that was the invention of the uh, contraceptive pill, and uh, which uh, I think came onto the market about 62. It was regarded as being a great liberator. It wouldn't be on wanted uh, pregnancies, marriages would be uh, happier because there would be less uh, uh, pressure. Husbands and wives could have more sex together. Those who weren't following natural family uh, planning, and it was going to introduce a, a, a new and, and better age. And uh, obviously now, women are more able to control their fertility, and that's appreciated by many people. But it's had many, many. Uh, possibly unexpected uh, consequences right across society. Well, first of all, it took away the, uh, not completely, but to a large extent, uh, the fear of unwanted pregnancy. So uh, that liberated a whole, whole waves of uh, promiscuity. And that was uh, captured and solidified in the Western world uh, by music from very from great musical groups uh, like the Beatles and um, Mick Jagger, what was he, the Rolling Stones, and they uh, captured the, the imagination of the young people uh, at that stage. So, in there's no country in the Western world which is now producing enough children to keep the population steady. Uh, steady. 
some, some of the worst countries are Catholic countries like uh, Spain and Italy, but the very worst uh, country um, is Russia, which is already dropping in population by 800, 750,000 a year to 800,000 a year. It's a combination of uh, multiple abortions. I've heard people who seriously say that we're, you know, the women, many women are having seven or eight abortions. I don't believe that. I'm a doubting Thomas. I've got stats. But it looks as though many of them are having multiple abortions. The other great uh, thing that's uh, uh, collapsing the mortality rate is uh, alcoholism amongst uh, the men. Uh, and that often makes them uh, eventually less fertile than they might be, but it kills them off early. 